Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I will have received a lot of email from you, and I know you are the one sending me email. So, and I will answer your email today. One of the question why I have not been having a not enough time to to speak the word of wisdom, words of faith to you. Testimony, testimony, what? Testimony help your faith. But you want man of God, in those days I will attend, I will go down, I will speak to everyone, I will move around. This is what you expect of man of God today. I would, God, God will give me the grace. So to that, I think uh, we have to move some of the testimony into the next. Maybe could be on Thursday or Sunday. So we have time to do that. It's, uh, it's all based on time because I need to leave here for the wise men to come and take over. And uh, everyone needs deliverance because, uh, like I told you, it, there are three stages. When you say you are born again, maybe you are at deeper side or deep side. So there's deep, deeper, deepest. So you keep, they will keep touching you and touching you and touching you. So this is where? That is light. The light, you can see this light, there are some light that are brighter than this. So that is born again. If this light is, is light, we can still find some light that brighter than this. If I'm talking, let us see your hand. Okay. And there are lights that are dim, that are not as bright as this. So light, the light of God, come and see the light of God in your life. It's just like that. We have some light that are not brighter than this, and there are, that are brighter than this. So that is the light everyone carry. So, so we have deep, deeper, deepest. So it's bright, but we can still find many that are brighter than this. And why we have some that are not also as brighter as this. So that is the light of God in your life. So you need to discover which level, what, what light are you carrying? Bright, brighter, brightest. Which of this light you have with you? We are all born again, but what stage? Are you with me? So that's it. So this is why everyone keeps striving. I mean, so thank you. Hallelujah. So you have on the table, I know you all the time. You have this message. Hallelujah. So we have some lot of testimony waiting, but I want to appeal to them. You just have to release me. So let me answer some email today. I will answer one of your email. So the other one I could answer them next time. Hallelujah. But always remember I'm a servant, and a servant cannot be greater than... Okay, so you say, yeah, you know I'm a servant? Mean I'm, a, I'm subject to a master. So you can imagine. So if you don't have a servant, you know how to handle or take care or talk to me, address me. So I'm a servant, and a servant cannot be greater than master. In this world, too, you have master, you have servant. When you enter the office, you say, I'm a servant to my boss. You should know what to talk, say to, to this servant. It's not everything you can address him. Or hand, there is a certain thing he can do, and he cannot do. He has to report to master. So please take note of that. Hallelujah. Amen. So we talk of time or whatever you see, you feel you are expecting perfection. Oh, that is our Lord Jesus Christ. So it's always on our side. When I'm not perfect, but perfection is always on my side. So thank you very much. Hallelujah. Um, yes. I want to appeal. We have uh, a lot of things on the table, but I don't want anything to, 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 
to tamper my time today. Because I see repeat again, I want to answer one of your questions, one of your emails. You have been sending it to me. I know the Spirit of God will speak to you today. I can hear you. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, let's just listen to just one, only one. We are not going to two, one. Because you know, when I say one, we go to two. <laughs> I know, I know your mind. I know the thought of your mind. I know the thought of your mind. not going to say one, no. Before you know, we go to two. Please, one. I'll prove you wrong. I said, I will prove you wrong. He said, see, see, he tapped his call. He said, since we go to two, I will tell you that uh, you are wrong. Just one. Okay, come out. And, uh, okay. Yes. Where are we going? Yes. Because we are just taking the event, what happened last week, is what we are trying to bring. It's not what we are expecting from heaven now. Okay, <clears throat> we are not going to wait. Let's thank God for your prayer and uh, your, your prayer last Sunday after the message I gave to the neighboring country. Thank you very much for your prayer. And I want to use this uh, time also to salute the, the opposition leader, um, our, our big brother, um, Nana Watt. Dana Kufadro, I, I salute him for his courage. He's, 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 he's at the center of rule of law. Thank you very much. So I will not say more than that. Thank you, Lord. I, this is what we are expecting in Africa. Instead of putting the Africa into crisis or so on and so forth, if we begin to have people like our big brother like that, I think Africa will be in a very wonderful place to stay. So the whole thing is not do or die. So when you remember your people, your citizens, people you are, that vote for you, people you want to lead, you will say, no, I don't want any blood of my people. I want peace for my people. I salute you once again. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> so if we, Africa, have been going by this example, I think this continent will be what's to live. Okay, whatever the law say, the rule of law is Roma. So we will be there. It's only God that is perfect. Once you know that, well, well. Thank you, thank you. I think, and I know many African countries will look at this example. I told you they will, they will maintain their profile. Indeed, they maintain it. Yeah. Um, yes. So remember when I came back from my celebration 50 birthday, I travel, I went to 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 seek uh, leave your means and I went to Monte to pray to God. And when I came out, came back, I came out, I came with a lot of prophetic wear. And one of these I read it here. And I think I want them to play for you. I told you if you could remember number four. Because I, did, I decided not to give you the, the booklet. I gave you the new year one, but that I could not give you. I, I have it with me. And uh, yes, okay, that was December, January, the small booklet. I said, number four, I said, take note of the month, May, June, July, August. Okay. There will be a great disunity among my government in their political system. And I say, the end of August, the crisis will, will check. I mentioned it, that was January. You remember what happened yesterday? Let them play it. You see what I'm talking about. I said it January. See prophecy. When God's servants speak forth, the wise listen. Deuteronomy 18.22 God is still saying something.
On the 19th of January 2013, during a Sunday service, Prophet T.B. Joshua read out a list of prophecies. The Bible says in Proverbs 29 verse 18, where there is no vision, people perish. As a communicator between the visible and the invisible, Prophet T.B. Joshua brings divine revelation for the nations of the world as directed by the Holy Spirit. Let's listen as he reads the fourth prophecy on the list. This number four, this unity, will affect our government. Prayer so that this would not bring the government to its knee. This unity. Serious one. May, June, August. Well, I said May, June. I said the whole thing really will shake. May, you know what happened May? The history of our, our, the leading party in Nigeria. June, you know what happened June? August, which I mentioned last, you know what happened yesterday? Number four, and I have ten prophetic. I don't know whom to discuss with. August, you remember what happened yesterday here? You, you know what happened? It's a serious issue. If issue is not addressed, take it back again, please. That was January. Play back. God is still saying something. On the 19th of January 2013, during a Sunday service, Prophet T.B. Joshua read out a list of prophecies. The Bible says in Proverbs 29 verse 18, where there is no vision, people perish. As a communicator between the visible and the invisible, Prophet T.B. Joshua brings divine revelation for the nations of the world as directed by the Holy Spirit. Let's listen as he reads the fourth prophecy on the list. This number four, this unity, will affect our government. Prayer, so that this would not bring the government to its knee. This unity, serious one. May, June, August, take note of the month. Because there are more, I don't want them to go too far. Because what has not happened? If I say it now, you cannot handle it. We need prayer. It's not everything. May, June, August, take note of this month and go back. May, what happened? May, June, what happened? August, what happened? Take note. Now, there are more. Number four, and I have. 15 in that book, and almost five has come to pass. Do you know what you need me for? I'm not God, I'm a servant. To tell you what will happen tomorrow, you can guide against it. The one you cannot guide against it, I will tell you. That's all. I'm not going to take your position, I'm not going to take your job. It's not possible. And uh, that is it. It's not that possible. It's not possible. Okay, last Sunday when I stood here and was praying for my country, Ghana, after that, I received 150 emails. People in America, people in the United States, they said they are coming home, they are coming home, they are coming home. They started coming. Because I said it, and today everything is peaceful. They send an email that Sunday, 150 email we start saying, "Thank you, sir. I, I'm coming home. I will, I will, I will not travel again. I'm coming home. I'm coming home." Almost 300 were in the church. Immediately they run back to their country. 
That is what prophetic is all about. I say sleep and close your wall. What happened today? Now, this is this of my country now. When I said it generally, I did not say there will be disunity and stop there. But I mentioned those months they should take note of. To, to, for you to know that you know what I'm saying. Those months you should take note of. Now, I'm here with a package message concerning the whole world about Syria. You know, I told about Iraq, and I told about Egypt, and I told you about, about Afghanistan. All what I say is in the record, and it's coming to pass. The Syria or now, what will happen if they, they, they go to war, my brother? I think this will humble the whole world. I will not say more than that, but I will give you the detail how the whole, this thing will humble the whole world. If we, if the war go, if the war now go to war in Syria, it will humble us. You no, know, humility has different meaning. I use this as idiom, terrible. It will, not, it will not stop there. It will affect the whole neighboring. Turkey should also be ready. Just mention any neighboring country there, so it should be ready. For the many years, there will be no peace in that region again. Not to let Syria. We should take note of that. All the regions surrounding, all the countries surrounding Syria will not have peace for many years. So whatever we can do now, not to use salt to fight salt. If they are killing people in Syria, we should not go there. We should use other method. We should make love, not make love war. Tell your neighbor, make love, not war. True, what is happening there is bad. There is war. There's trouble, but we should not use the same weapon to, to bear. Whatever we can do, which will be different from we should do. Because if we go there by war, by attack, the whole region there, write it down, I'm a prophet. I'm just telling you what I'm seeing, what I'm looking at after the war. It is true, you will succeed crushing the whole thing there. But the whole region there, not one, not two, not one country, not two countries, not three countries, not four countries, not six countries. Imagine if five, six, seven, eight countries go for Syria, what will happen to the rest of the country, the whole world? What will happen? And the, if that is the country, it is true the whole team will be crushed. They will overcome that issue. But the whole country and surrounding of that city, not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, will not have peace for many years. Economics wise, political wise, you know what is happening in Egypt? In a nutshell, once again, if you go and attack the issue there in Syria, no problem, the whole thing will be crushed. But neighboring countries surrounding that Syria, I, I see more than five that will not have peace forever. Because you know what is going to happen? Let me tell you what is going to happen. When it, the, the, the attack starts, the people you want to attack, 
the, the people that really you want to attack, they will run to those neighboring country. It is innocent people that will suffer there. Now, after that attack, those who run to neighboring country, they will start trouble in those neighboring country. I take it again. If we start attack today, other countries start to, 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 to. The real people, people that really in charge of to, 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 I mean, to defend that country, to attack you back, they will not bother. They will leave the country and run to neighboring places. They have visa, they have stay in all those countries you are talking about. As you finish this one, the trouble also started in those countries, and no one can stop it. So what we are going to lose is bigger than what we gain. So the answer, whatever we can do now, not to attack, not to use that weapon, but whatever they can do, they should appeal to Arab League to come together and talk to our brother and make him part of the Arab League and begin the talk there. It, it will take time, but we gain more in doing that than attacking. So, the, even the one I have in my book to read to the whole world is not here. I'm only just giving you a talkie of what I've seen. Once again, the, the world should talk to Arab League because already the man has been removed from the system. Let them call him, he's their brother, and talk to him, and whatever they can do to talk to him. It's all right, it's all right, it's all right. Okay? They, let, they will start love from there. What we are suffering, economic crisis, we are suffering today. It's not only in your country, your crisis in your country that are affecting your country. If your economic is booming, is booming, it means other nature to input bring about the booming of your economy. So what is happening in every country today as a result of minus some country economy that is in chambu, some economic in some some country that the economic even support to your economy are no longer, they are minus now from your inputs. When this nature economic is minus from your input, it affects your economy. No matter how little or small, through trade, so those countries that are in crisis, in war, their economic is in mess now. So it affects your own country and my own country. So if also Syria economic also now minus from my own country, your own country, and neighboring other countries also minus, the war that we are going to face, I don't know. We are talking of economic crisis, economic meltdown. I don't know the name to give to it. The, the, the challenges we are facing all over the world, we don't know a prophet. A prophet, not only preaching, but also tell the future event. A prophet define, I define you a prophet. A prophet, not only tell the future event, but preach with Write it on the screen. 
a prophet not only tell the future event, but preaching with what? With power. That is a prophet for you. Put it on the screen, brother, at the table. A prophet not only tells the future, put it down, the future event, but preaching with power. Preaching the way with power. So that is why you will not see a prophet where you there is a debate. There is a discussion. And you a prophet will sit down. They say there is a conference, they want to debate, they want to discuss. He, he is there, and the prophet will sit down and say, I'm a professor, so Prophet Joshua, uh, my suggestion. We don't suggest. We talk with power. <laughs> so, therefore, it's now difficult for us now to go to the conference where there's discussion, uh, I mean, debate on how to go, the way out, the, how to go. No, no, no. It is when you debate and discuss whatever you arise to, take it to prophet and let prophet ask God whether it's the way out. When you finish your discussion and your debate and they agree that let's go this way, then you can go and meet a prophet. Ask him, this is the way, the conclusion. Ask God if this conclusion is the right conclusion. That is the job of prophets. Calling a prophet to go and deliver speech. You give him a letter, go and deliver speech, and he will stand and begin to tell you, or either the United Nations will stand and say, yeah, this is the speech. No, he will tell you, the mind of God, what is that? Whatever he said, to be whole responsible. What I'm saying now, hold me responsible and God Almighty. I will not come back tomorrow and say, I'm sorry, I could not see it clear. I'm sorry, I was sleepy. I'm sorry, it's, 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 a, it's a mistake. Nobody about mistake, please take note. Mm. That's why we don't talk. A prophet not only tells the future event, but preaching the way with power. So that's it. That is why when we are talking to you, suddenly you, we start telling you the prophecy. We are talking to you, start telling you the prophecy. No, that's it. Look at the prophet's 19 January, number four. I know what is going to happen, and I know how it happened, and I know the exact date. That is why I mentioned those months. I said there will be disunity among my people, government, political party. I don't want to say much. The disunity, the nature of disunity, the date and time. Let him give them the month. Take note of May, June, August. Take note of this month. And if you look at this three month, you will know what happened in your country, in your state, and everywhere. And what happened even the August that just finished yesterday. So. You need a prophet. You need the spirit of a prophet to know or to recognize a prophet. Tell your neighbor, I need the spirit of a prophet. Take notice. I need the spirit of, of 
the spirit of a prophet. I need the spirit of a prophet to know or to recognize a prophet. I need the spirit of a prophet to know or to recognize a prophet. You can't recognize a prophet. What is talking about? Just be looking at him. It takes the spirit of a prophet to recognize a prophet. This is why most time a prophet is doubted and criticized. But when you don't have the spirit of a prophet and a prophet is talking, you are bound to doubt him or criticize him. Uh, look at this prophet. He's prophesied doom. He never see good, good. He never say anything good. Uh, he has come again. A uh, crash. He has come again. Uh, look at him. Because it takes the spirit of a prophet to recognize or to know a prophet. That is why most times when prophet is talking to you, you doubt him or you criticize him. Your spirit will say, what is this? You never say good thing. And what you are expecting, like you sit down now, you, your business is not moving well. Instead of prophet to talk of that business, he will now begin to tell you about the spirit of death. Say, ah, that is not what I come here from, prophet. What? No, I rebook it. You will not tell the prophet inside your spirit. Why the prophet is telling you that, ah, this is the spirit of death inside you. I rebook you, prophet. It's not for me. That is not for me. <laughs> that is not for me. I will say, what are you saying? I will only see your mouth moving, your lips. I know, I know, man, each time I talk to you people, I'll just say, you are here because somebody had you billion dollars and you are expecting this money to be paid tomorrow. You are here to pray. It's not a prophet to tell you, prophet will just tell you that uh, you have to forgive that woman. The woman already, you have agreed that it's a wish. And you have sent this woman away already. And you say over your dead body, you will have nothing to do with this woman. Because you believe the cost of your business crumble. You are expecting a billion dollars tomorrow and come here, Pastor. You want this prophet to talk about it. If really is a true prophet, you should say that billion. But instead of saying billion, you say, you have to forgive this woman. You not say, which woman? <laughs> And any time when I say, you say, I say, which woman? You see the way I will, I will back. Because I know you can do anything. <laughs> that no. That no. You see the way I will run back. Because at that time, you are ready to do, even if you see Jesus, you can blow Jesus. You are ready, to, you should be ready to forgive this woman. Which woman is that? <laughs> Which woman with the harsh way to the extent if the spirit of God is not in the prophet, he will not repeat that way again. He will just okay, don't worry, don't worry, okay, go and wait for me. <laughs> <laughs> prophet is afraid. He said, Okay, go and wait for me, don't worry, don't worry, okay, don't worry, go, go and wait. But when the one the spirit of God is leading, you say, Which woman? You say, Yes. Your, your, your former wife. Uh, man of God, I have a problem. You say, hey, I have a problem. What's your problem? Somebody, I, they want to pay. No, no, no. And you don't know that that is the secret of your deliverance. And if that forgiveness is not applied, this money you are expecting to get tomorrow, they have been promised you many, 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 many. Tomorrow, 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 tomorrow. Because you realize that uh, it has become tomorrow, tomorrow. That's why you run here. You know it's no longer ordinary. You know something is behind tomorrow, 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 tomorrow. And it's not three times you have been there. But now another tomorrow. 
Because you know you are not sure of that tomorrow. That's why you are here. You are now wanting me to talk about tomorrow without go to the root of your problem. If you're now ready and say, yes, man of God, I'm ready to forgive. Just tell me how to go about it. And you are delivered. I don't even need to talk about that money. After that deliverance, you are delivered. And I, the woman, you get, you, you, you get to him and say, hello, uh, who is calling me? I'm uh, Mr. Crane. Ah, you call me, okay? Well, after you call me, wish everybody knows you do it. Well, I forgive you. Let's come. Come, man of God wants to see you. And you bring the woman. Forget about that money tomorrow. Don't talk about it. Just bring the woman and reconcile. Why you are reconciling yourself? Don't be surprised. In that place, they will call you immediately. Yeah. Why we are talking of reconciliation, I say, and you say, okay, my wife, I forgive you, please. Uh, forgive me too for calling you wish. I don't know the spiritualist. The, some people say you are a witch. That's why I, I, I'm sorry. And everything. And I say, okay, go and eat. Why people are eating on the dining table? I say, you begin to talk about the past. They have a face challenge. You just receive a phone call. Hello? We were expecting you to come and collect your sister. Okay, don't worry. When you get there, you get your money. Let me tell you, out of ten people that are ten people that meet a prophet, their issue, their the problem they they, they brought to prophet ten people. Eight of them are approach, wrong approach. Only one or two, I mean, are right approach. So therefore, when you are expecting me to talk to you, don't expect me to even talk about what you are thinking about. You want this thing, but something is responsible for you not to get that thing. Prophet is going to talk about the, what is responsible for the cause of not getting that thing done. Not that thing. It's rare for a true prophet to straight. Oh, the, the, you need money. The, somebody promised you 10 million naira and they are ready to give you tomorrow. They will give you. It means you have been delivered already before you come to prophet. If I'm talking, let me see your hand. Take, take note of that. Stand up, sit down. Now, you, you, you are expected 10 millions, and they promise you to come tomorrow, to come and collect it. And you just meet a prophet, without telling prophet, prophet just say, wow, somebody want to give you 10 million. Somebody heard you 10 million and promised to give you tomorrow. Go there, they will give you. That means it's not that prophet that have done the job. It means your prayer for many years has been answered already. Oh. Your, the prayer you have been come on, the prayer you have been offered and the pastor you have been meeting and the prayer you have been offering and offering and offer offer has been answered. So you because you did not know that that prayer has been answered, you are still running. It's confirmation from prophet. Because if you need deliverance, he will not talk straight about that thing. You go straight to your deliverance because of not getting that money. That is what he's going to talk about. But for him to talk about the money and say, go and collect it, they will give you, it means you have been delivered. The prayer you have been offering for long, I've set you free. Sit down. I don't want you to be disappointed concerning your prayer in the past. Do you know the reason? If your prayer in the past are, are not answered, are not effective at all, you will not come here today. If the prayer you have been offering, you have been offering in the past, fasting and praying, meeting pastor and counseling you, telling you this, and you have been fasted, prayer, prayer, whatever. Those. If those prayers are nonsense, you will not come here today. This is a, a, a place of liberty. People coming here are people that have been delivered already. Yeah. 
when you ask somebody, please, brother, let's go to synagogue, and he's telling you that, mm -hmm. it means God has not allowed, it has been not the decree for him to come. Your coming here is not what you wish. It is not your wish. It is not your wish. Your wish. That is why when each time I look at you, I just look at you. Once you know that and you sit down and you listen to the prophet, please, don't ask, just keep thanks to God. Because the wrong we are taking in ascending order. What is ascending order? When God has answered you already, God has given you what you want, and you are keep asking. That is ignorant. You are committing sin again. Already, you, are, you need bread. Already, the bread has been released from above. And it's coming. Sometimes when you walk in the street, you hear the noise of rain. Ooh. It will be raining here, and it will not rain here. If you have seen it before, raise up your hand. This, this is red carpet. It's, it will be raining here. And you stand here, see raining, hearing noise. And it will not rain here. That is a good example of issue of prayer. When your prayer, many prayer has been answered for many years but because they have not received it physically, it has not come to reality, and you are the cause. When you keep doubting yourself, doubting yourself, and the prayer will hang on the, on the air. It's like a throwing paper. If you stand on the gallery and throw paper down, if care is not taken, it may take one hour for this paper to land. It will be flying on the air like this, Instead of the paper to come straight, it will be flying on the air like this, air like this, until very mighty force push it down. That is the challenge, trouble many of you are facing. If you meet Jesus face to face, he will tell you that why are you still suffering? You are blessed already. Because the blessing has been released already. For him, it has been released. For you, you have not received. He will say, ah, ah, what is wrong with you? Here you are. You are supposed to be a head. You are supposed to be the owner of the many companies. So you are on the street. Are you a destined to be the head of state? Oh, you are a farmer. Ah, so you are still living it in a home. You have no house or your own. Ah, the, here you are. If you meet Jesus, he will tell you this. See, eh? What's wrong with you? Look at this. You are, the, the blessing has been released. You are supposed to be the chairman of this company. Already, to us over there, there's nothing written that you are suffering. The thing has been released, but the thing is dragging, dragging all about. It's dragging. You go around, you come back, go around, go back, go around, go back. Go around. That is, I will say, eh? Okay. And I don't want you. To to die before you, they will open the fight to you. Many, by the time many died and getting over there, they will open the fire and say, ah, you are supposed to be this. Already the whole thing has been released. You say, eh? oh, I have not said anything. Uh, so you have a role to play. It is not all of to God. Satellite is not all up to you. You have a role to play. Your genuine willingness plus God's ability bring that blessing. It's just fold your hand, just God will bring the blessing. You have a role to play. And what is your role? You believe with him all things are possible. Don't doubt him. When you ask as in faith, not in doubt. You don't know what I mean by that? When you are asking, asking what? Faith. If you are here today, take note of 
what you have passed through before coming here, what you have experienced before you coming here, your coming here is, it is finished. Yeah. You know what I mean? For you to enter here and sit down, it means you have to just take. It is not a place where you begin to wrestle with your doubt. The doubt is over there. You know what you are passing through. You are supposed to be here before now. Many years you are supposed to have been here. But they don't allow you to come. They don't. You are supposed to have been here for many years in the past, so many years. But because it is not written that you should be here. Here you are. So, brother, let's stop. I don't want to. <laughs> see. A, a prophet must be able to prove beyond reasonable doubt that he's speaking the mind of God. That's all. Not magician. Not seer. Are, are you with me? Not seer. You know seer. People seer that a witch doctor will tell you this. Habali will tell you this. Sometimes they will tell you, they say, there's something there and you'll find it there. But a prophet of God when you listen to them, five minutes is enough to know whether this man is a prophet. Don't, ten minutes is too much. Just five minutes. When you watch your channel, just turn channel and sit down for five minutes. When you look for five minutes, it's enough for you to know, oh, this is God. Because beyond human world, compression. Not only the prophet will see what is to come, but at the same time, it will provide the solution. And there, there is no prophet that God limits to his zone if you are a prophet. No prophet. Once God says you are a prophet, you are a prophet of nations. Once God says you are a prophet, you become a prophet of continents. No prophet that is limited to where? To his own. So, if you are a prophet, if someone says he's a prophet, okay, he can, he can, he can, he can try to maneuver the imagination inside the shore, collecting information from people and tell them, collect information and begin to tell the people this is our problem. Whereas he has that information in his pocket or somewhere. But if he's a prophet, wow, talk to the whole world. That will confirm your authentic. Because the same spirit of God that is talking to us inside the church also hold the whole world. The same actinary, antenna, antenna, you are used to see within here, also see the young north, south, east pole. So therefore, if anybody say, I go to faith prophet, I don't know, he says he's a prophet, I think you should be blamed. Because there is a standard God has given us. That is why there is a few prophets in the Bible. You can count number of prophets in the Bible. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are no more than ten. So prophet is not something on the street. Because of the nature of your job. You discover them, you can expose them by the nature of their job. If you say you're a prophet, tell me the God's opinion about me. They are not only know about event, for sure event, but they also know God's opinion about whom you are, whom you are, and whom you shall be. They are not only know God's opinion about the future event, but also 
God's opinion about whom you are, whom you were, and whom you shall be. That is prophet for you. Take note of that. So, the issue of, come, your name is John. That is spiritualist. Uh, you're a carpenter. That is spiritualist. Because that will not solve your problem. Yeah. That has nothing to do with your problem. Sit down. Thank you. If I tell you the name of your wife at home, that will not change anything. That is not why you are here. Already your wife has name. <laughs> now, God's opinion. This is, this is opinion of God about whom she is whom she was, and uh, whom she shall be. Now, should I leave the house, or I should reconcile with this man? That is it. And what brought about her? The prophetic word. The question now, should I leave the house, or I should reconcile with this man? That is why he's here. You came from where? From South Africa. Far ah, South Africa. Just to know that opinion. He's confused, and he's sitting down quietly. What will I do now? What will I do now? And going to prayer land and they touch you. When they touch you, finish, you still need to see man of God to tell you this. Where will you sit, man of God? If this gift of prophetic where? Come. I'm not forgetting here. Uh, you, you, know, you, know, you, know the, you know the thing. The thing. Anywhere the thing. Let me tell you about this prophetic where. I'm seeing it is light trace I follow, trap. There is a light I'm looking. If the light disappear, I will not go. But if it is like a rope, very tiny, it's like a rope. Okay, let me give you a good example. Look, is it? Come on, camera, please. Can you see? Can you see? Can you see this rope? So. It's a light, like a thunder. So when it comes, I will follow it. When I don't see that light again, I wait. If I wait and I could not see the light, I will say, please, let the wise man come. Because I cannot... <laughs> so if I continue, to, if the light go and I continue to follow, it will land on somebody I need to talk to. If you land on that person, you will shine on the person. What I need to say will be written on the chest of the person. Yeah. Now, for me not to see light and go to talk, I'm talking of myself. And not only in your mission, even when I finish job, when I'm inside the room. Sometimes it not come out at all. If I don't see light, it, it is not this light that, lead, that is leading me. This is artificial one. The one that you depend on. When I wake up in the morning, I must see this, the ray, this light from my bed to my city room. But when I finish, when I'm about to go, it must also lead me, I must follow it. If I don't go where that light go, if I'm driving outside and I don't see the light in front of me, I will say, driver, let's go back. If not, destruction will come. But if I follow that light and I follow it, I follow it, I follow it, the grace of God will always. That is why, that is, look, and this kind of light, that is why you, when you don't see me in the party, you cannot see me in the... This, you say, but God has to visit people home. Because it is where he goes, I go. And the moment this light is off, one is finished. So I'm just telling you some of the secret of servant of God.
like like my brother the wise men when they are touching you boo, 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 they are there is a rail of light that they follow if they don't see that rail of light they have to stop if they don't see any one of them doesn't see ask yourself what you have done you have to examine yourself down it is time for examination because if you now say you must go without that rail of life you will be destroyed either the assassinating assassination people that want to kill you is opportunity for them to kill you you don't learn that they have killed somebody or accident what they are doing here is many people are not happy about it they are effort to destroy me or to destroy the church because I follow this light. They cannot destroy me. But if I now choose to go without the light on my part, well, I'm, I'm exposed to destruction. So when you learn that one of my five wise men is dropped, to many of you, you think I have the power to draw people. Who I am? I am a human being like them. I am a human being like them. I'm just, I'm just like a human being like them. I'm just being used the way they are being used. They want to give church name. Eh? I should allow him when he doesn't see Ray, the part that is leading him every day, and the thing is no more. You want him to go, so one day you learn that something happened to him. Will you have a confidence in the rest wise men? We, it me, wise men, four wise men at TB Joshua, we know, you, we can know if God is no more with us. Yes, because there is a trace, there is a, a sign. We can know if God is no more in our support. If God is no more on our side. If God is no more with us, we can know. It's simple. We can know. We can know. So I, I think that clears your mind now. That you cannot just expect a man of God to go this place or to say this thing or to do that, to do that. I, I don't hold my life. That's light. It's like a thunder. We call it lightning of God. Say lightning of God. Please put it on the screen. Lightning of God. I can hear you. Lightning of God. At the table. Lightning of God. Yes, lightning of God. It's different from thunder. This thunder is just, it's, it's a nature of God. But this one is a different. Thunder cannot stand this one. Million of thunder cannot stand this. But this one is lightning. In other name for this one, we call it resurrection power. <laughs> Instead of you to now see Jesus in a human form, following you, holding your hand, telling you what to do, no. Lightning of God is the one guiding us. And we follow it, mean we are blind on the outside. In this war, we are blind, but in the Lord, we can see. If you understand, can you see the reason why God can use a blind man physically? We are blind, but that lightning. And you, this lightning will not take you where God will not be welcomed. It will only go where God will be welcomed. You will not go where you want to go, but where he, 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 the lightning wants to go. Because if you go where you want to go, and you are not following the lightning, you are destroyed. 
people that will look at you when you are following that lightning will find you in the in the in the in the in a means of lightning. That is why this of banjo these people they will say, I cannot look at you. I cannot look at you. No, no, I cannot do this. They'll cover their face. It doesn't fade. When it's gone, it's gone. When it's no more there, it's no more there. There's nothing like a bright light, dim light, brighter. There's nothing like that. It is brighter. And once it's no more there, it's no more there. You have finished. Unless you rescue yourself. Nothing like it's dim you because of what you have done. It's dimmed gradually. Because God is being very, very, very careful. He's our God, our Savior. He doesn't want anything to happen to his anointed one. If he give you a dim one, you may make a very grievous mistake. Grave one. It's better it's not giving you light than to give you a dim one. It's own. What is not done perfect is not done at all. That is his own. Uh, what is not good is not done at all. This is not perfect. It's not perfect. It's not good. What is not done right is not done at all. So therefore, when you are calling me, man of God, pray for me. Man of God, pray for me. I'm here. Man of God, I see you. Man of God, pray for me. But that lightning is the one that is leading me. If it has not led me to you, and I pray for you, I'm praying of myself. So, talk less of TB Joshua. So, don't expect that everybody here are here for salvation of their soul. There are different people here. Some are here to tempt the man of God. What can he do? Let us go there and do it. So, this is why the Bible says, this child is destined to cause the rise and falling of many. If, if, if there will be no temptation, people will not come here to come and tempt, to come and steal, to come and do all sorts of things. The Bible will not say, this child is destined to cause, it will say, this child is destined to cause the rise alone. But it say, this child is destined to cause the rise and falling. That means some people will walk against him and they will, they will face the wrath of God. And some will walk for him and be blessed. Take note of that. So when you are going to take your bath, tell your neighbor, I love you all. I trust only God. I can hear you. Je vous aime tous, mais je fais simplement confiance à Dieu. I'm just looking at his mouth. <laughs> I'll see whether I will see the Latin or going in his mouth. Let him come. Take there, take there. You know, you know the challenge people are facing nowadays is uh, this poverty is not good though. When one is facing, you know poverty is the greatest disease. When you are facing the poverty, you first of all you, lo you lose the sense of judgment. Sense of reason. You will not reason well. When poverty comes, the first thing poverty will take from you, you will not be able to reason well. When you cannot reason well, you will see everybody as enemy. When you are walking and you see people with a beautiful car, you say, ah, it's one and I. <laughs> or when you are going and you are walking on the way and somebody just comes with a posh car, Maybe there is rain, and they just, I mean, causing the, the, the dirty water to splash on your body. You say, ah, you see, ritual man. <laughs> so, poverty, the first 
thing when one is poor. What the poverty normally rob of one sense of war. You will not be able to do this well. In fact, if you go to stay, you call your wife wish. And your wife also will call the husband wizard. It's poverty. Poverty will not want you to know the direction where God is training. You go to spiritualists, you go to this, you go to that, you go to that, you keep going everywhere. When they go to your house, they'll see different parts. One part for Jesus, one part for Satan, one part for this, one part for that. When you are going, you say, in the name of Jesus, you take 